Can you believe this beautiful Mercedes is over 40 years old? Well, I don't mean this actual car, but its design is all but unaltered since 1979. Hi, I'm Jay Reed, and welcome to Black Horse Garage in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Here today, we're going to review one of their glorious cars, the Mercedes G550 from 2019, affectionately known as the G-Wagon. Those of us from over the other side of the pond remember these cars well back in those days too. This car came out in 1979 when I was eight years old and they were really nothing like the cars they are today. They were much more a competitor to the Land Rover Defender of the day than the Range Rover of now, albeit significantly better executed and put together than either, as we shall find out. The armed services and farmers would use them and even the Pope had one. In fact, the Argentinian military was the first large fleet customer to take them, and over the years you could get them in short and long wheelbases, soft top, or even Land Alette format, six-wheeler, or something called the G550 squared with its Tonka looks and portal axles, and even AMG models with turbocharged V12 engines. But the early ones were stripped out, more agricultural cars, but they had one in ace in the hole that stands out to this day. They were, and are, all but unstoppable off-road. And the basic shape of the car, with the wheel in each corner, the short overhangs at the front here, and the ability to lock all three differentials, front, rear, and center, so to prevent power from sliding out through any particular wheel. Even with the bling of today, the seriousness of the engineering has not been lost. This is no sheep in wolf's clothing. And the 2019 model, which this one is, is the one to have too. For whilst the range of G-Wagons remained all but unchanged from 1979, it was for the 2019 model that they actually did a pretty thorough refresh. And so in 40 years, this is actually only the second generation G-Class. But you wouldn't know it to look at it, would you? And that's a good thing because people have appreciated that change has been a slow evolution rather than revolutionary taking a look under the hood and we find a familiar engine. Although badged as a 550, which implies a 5.5 litre engine, this is actually a 4 litre V8 twin turbo engine, pushing out a not inconsequential 416 brake horsepower. I say familiar because it's the same engine that Mercedes have used in the S-Class, GLS and GLE classes since 2017, and in fact the prior version of this car too. These later cars then are a little bit wider than their predecessors, which gives it a bit more stability on the road and a bit more airiness and space in the cabin. They also have a different steering system, permitting the modern collision avoidance technology to be deployed. And the ground up redesign has also allowed lighter materials to be used, saving 375 pounds off the old car. So you have a car that with its push button door handles looks just like the older cars, but still has the Mercedes technology of the S-Class. Fun fact, the current G-Class has the widest range of exterior color choices of all Mercedes. And this particular combination of white and brown looks the business in my opinion. And on the inside, those of us who own S-Classes will find the place very familiar indeed. Uh, the quality of the materials, how it's all put together and the technology that you find in here is very familiar. In fact, it's like they put an S-Class inside a G-Class. And I'm six foot, and I've got the driver's seat where I would have it if I was driving, and the comfort and the luxuriousness carries on in the rear. I have about an inch uh, between my knees and the seat in front, but it's perfectly comfortable, and this beautiful brown leather, uh, uh, perforated in places, extends all the way through the car. A very nice place to be. And on the inside, we're finding the luxury materials and quality of an S-Class straight away, and also the technology. This is certainly no agricultural car that I used to be in my youth, especially with the three differential locks here. So let's see what it's like out on the road. And on the highway, this is a incredibly smooth journey that we're on. The engine is merely ticking over at just over a thousand revs. And we are wafting along very nicely with a cruise control set and the high position with lots of glass around me so I can see everywhere I need to see. And I'm sitting here in the lap of luxury with my heated seat on, 
reclined just the way I like it, being held in by these automatic bolsters on the side of the seat, which uh, pinch you in when you're going around the corner. So I couldn't be more comfortable. In fact, uh, to extend the S-Class metaphor, uh, this is like driving an elevated S-Class uh, on the freeway and a uh, very comfortable place to be. And what I love about this car also is the extension of the screen. Again, uh, given it's now been modernized, the screen extends across the entire uh, dash in front of me. So I have a, a very large map uh, that I can see, as well as my digital dash in front of me, which gives me all the necessary information uh, to help me along my way. And if we go along a little bit faster, the engine kicks down very easily and very quickly, and it delivers its power very smoothly. That 416 horsepower from its twin turbocharged 4-litre V8 is very smooth. The exhaust pipes actually are just below me, they're not out the back. Um, but you can't hear them too much until you want to press on a bit more and then it does make its presence known and you can hear the wonderful burble of the 4 litre V8. So we are off the freeway and onto these beautiful backcountry lanes in Saugatuck Reservoir in Connecticut and I'm going to switch it out of comfort mode. I've been wafting along nicely, but I feel the need now. No, we're not going to go into eco mode. We're not going to go into comfort. We're going to go into sport mode. And it holds onto the gears and we've stiffened up a little bit here. All right, so I want to get my massage seats on now. I feel that the time of the journey has come where my back needs to be massaged. Now, do I want high intensity, hot, relaxing back, hot, relaxing shoulder? I want an act or classic massage. That's what I would like. So we're going to go with that. So now my entire back is being massaged, not just these seat bolsters as I go around corners, but the, back, the, the massaging seats are rolling up my back and it feels very relaxing actually. So steering, handling and ride. Well the steering is nicely weighted without being too difficult to turn, right? This is a modern car uh, and it feels like it. The steering is, is very easy to turn, but there's just enough weight in it so you can feel the road. Handling, I'm now in sport mode, and I'm feeling it's tackling these turns with aplomb. Quite a lot of ease going around these corners. It doesn't feel crashy. It's probably a good blend of being able to navigate these corners sportily without crashing through the bumps. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this journey in this lovely Mercedes G550 as much as I have. Please subscribe to the Black Horse Garage YouTube channel. Give us a like if you would. Otherwise, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks very much.